Hello, fellow witches and wizards. My name is Phoenix Jenny, and welcome back to Let's Play Nancy Drew Treasure in the Royal Tower. This is our final part. We're finally going to solve the mystery, and I will have a completed Nancy Drew game on my channel. So, let's get into it. So, we need to go back up to the tower, which means we need to go to the elevator, actually. And we don't actually need to get in the elevator since we're already on the second floor. Oops, not there. Elevator. There we go. We're just going to call the elevator here. So it's not in the way. So it's not in front of the door. Okay. And so now we're going to turn around. Okay, and it's... What is it? I don't have my notes on me. Three star seven two? Is that what it is? Oh, no notes. Uh, where are my notes? Oh, uh. Three star seven two. All right. for that. <laughs> uh, okay. Go through this one last time. Six. Do not have to do this puzzle again. All the way up. And where have I seen a purple rose? Right here. You need something to pry these tiles off. And remember that spike thing that we pulled off of the uh, spear that the knight is holding outside of the gate? If you didn't grab that, if you're playing this game yourself and you haven't grabbed that yet, that's where you need it. That's where it is. And we're gonna go ahead and pry off these tiles. And now we have the diamond key that the queen was talking about in her journal. Okay, so now, make my notes again. Okay. So this symbol here uh, means, uh, is associated with the color red. Uh, red for courage, and then this one is honor, blue, and this one is green, loyalty. Now we put in the diamond key. If you've never seen this before, now is the time to cast your vote. Make your guess as to who the culprit is. The diamond! Whoa! Will you look at that sparkly rock? And me without my sunglasses. Hi, Lisa. How did you get in here? I followed you, of course. Turns out a nosy, goody-two-shoes detective is good to have around after all. Now, why don't you toss me that big honkin' diamond so I can blow this popsicle stand and never set foot in Lamo, Wisconsin again? Lisa, you must be kidding me. This diamond belongs in a museum in France. Yeah, 
Well, I belong in the lap of luxury, and that diamond's gonna get me there. Hasn't anybody ever told you to mind your own business? <laughs> oh, oh, many, many times. times. Well, maybe this time you'll learn. My eyes! Don't worry. My spicy devil villain venom won't last for long. But I'm afraid by the time you get your eyes back, you'll have missed my grand exit. They crammed every villain word they could into the title of that pepper spray. So, you're the one who trapped me in the elevator. Yep, she did that. Are you the one who conked me on the head in the locker room? Uh, so yeah, she did both of these things. <coughs> so you're the one who trapped me in the elevator! Ooh, you are a smarty pants. But let's not forget about your little frostbite incident. I'm the rotten friend who locked you outside too, you know? Mm. Just trying to keep you on your toes, Nancy. Didn't want you to get soft on your vacation. Are you the one who conked me on the head in the locker room? Ouch. <laughs> I bet that hurt. But I had to get the medallion somehow, didn't I? I hope we can still be friends. Why did you leave Jacques' medallion at Hotchkiss's room? <coughs> and Hotchkiss's medallion out in the shed. To spread suspicion around, of course. You know, to play with your mind. Plus, I was at a dead end. I got the two messages from the stained glass window, but then what? I knew you would figure it out, so I decided to put the medallions in your hands and let you lead the way. Okay. Uh, and also, if Nancy was actually pepper sprayed, she'd be, like, on the floor. Like, she wouldn't be able to talk. She wouldn't be able to function right now. Why are you doing this? <coughs> Haven't you heard? It's a material world, sister, and I am a material girl. Photojournalism pays peanuts, you know, and who wants to work for a living anyway? I was made for a tropical climate, lounge chairs and cabana boys. Why did you have to vandalize that beautiful library? Just a little translation mix-up. When I read the message from Hotchkiss's medallion, I thought it meant Diamond of Misery in the library. Whoops, <laughs> guess I went a little overboard looking for it in there. Anyway, enough with the questions, Nancy. You'll just have to read the rest in the papers. Duh! I've gotta stop her. And you know how you stop her? Remember this button? It makes the stairs disappear. Oh, Do it in time. Help! Get me her. out of here! Bunch. It stinks down here. Yeah, it's all moldy. Darn you, Nancy Drew. You're the worst friend a diamond thief could ever have. Well, yeah. Dear Dad, to think I almost became friends with a diamond thief. Everyone at Wickford Castle is resting easier now that Marie Antoinette's journal and her famous diamond are safe and sound. The journal, the diamond, and the medallions are all going to be featured in a new Marie Antoinette exhibit in Paris. And it looks like everyone will be rewarded. <laughs> Except Lisa, of course. First, she missed her plane to Rio, and now she's going to be charged with attempted grand theft. Professor Hodgkiss is thrilled because the French government has granted her permission to publish Marie's journal in the U.S. before it gets returned to France. This ought to help prove her theory about Marie's character once and for all. Thanks to Jacques and his great-grandfather's efforts to find the journal, the Brunet name is being celebrated all over France. In the meantime, Jacques and Isabelle have eloped. It's so romantic. I showed Dexter the poem that Ezra Whitford wrote it, and he was relieved to know that his old pop didn't carry any hard feelings to his grave. All the talk shows want Dexter to tell his story on national television, but he keeps turning them down. I guess he doesn't want to be famous or infamous. But when Christy Lane called and asked Dexter to be her business partner, he accepted. With her business sense and Dexter's expert knowledge of the castle, I think they'll make a great team. So, you know what they say, Dad. Il n'est jamais trop tard de changer l'histoire. It's never too late to change history. Me, I'm determined to go out and enjoy this snow before some other case comes up. See you soon. Love, Nancy. Yay, it's done! Uh, L'histoire is one of my favorite French words. I just love saying it. It means history. Um, also, speaking of French, I find Lisa's translation mix-up to be a little hard to believe, and here's why. So she thought it said Diamond and Misery in the library, 
So she thought it said, um, she thought, so the word library in French is bibliothèque, and the word journal in French is journal. <laughs> so if it said diamond misery in my journal, how do you mix up journal and journal, you know, journal, which sounds like journal, with bibliothèque? And she's even fluent in Spanish. Library in Spanish, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure is bibliotech as well. How can you get those confused? It's not, it's not, it's not a word you confuse, really. But, I don't know, I guess they had to try and explain it somehow. <laughs> okay, so here we have the cast. The voice of Nancy Drew for every single Nancy Drew game except the newest one. I think that's Brittany Cox who does Nancy Drew in the newest one. Um, and then Nickerson, Scott Carty. Scott Carty is Ned for every single game, including the last one. Um, so we have some regulars. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It's definitely one of my favorite. It's one of my top 10. I have a lot of happy memories with this game, and I love the atmosphere, I love the castle, and I love the French language, and I love the blizzard outside, it's just nice and cozy, and it was a delight to play for winter. Um, so uh, I'm, I hope that you uh, enjoyed this game as much as I did, and I will of course end it there. Thank you so much for watching, please leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of the video. If you liked the video, click the like button. If you want more videos like this, click subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. Also check out my Patreon, link in the description. I also live stream here on YouTube. Join me every day except Wednesdays and Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, except on Saturdays when I stream at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I stream The Sims, adventure games, puzzle games, and reading books on Saturday for my Storytime Saturdays. So join me for that. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a magical day.